for this project we start a new file and we select English unit and select standard IPT to create a new part our 2d sketch plane will be XY plane we begin with the sketch tool selecting circles connect to the origin add the diameter for this circle would be three inches in this case which unit is English would be three inches and next step draw a line beginning point of the line is the center of the circle by selecting the origin and making sure that line is perfectly vertical and you notice the vertical constraint displayed and escape to finish the line tool highlight the line select center line an upper right corner as you see you select the center line this becomes a construction line is not part of the sketch profile we will use this line for feature reference to create symmetrical object next step we draw another line anywhere on the screen that line is the horizontal line make sure is your horizontal constraint displayed and add dimension to that line to be equal to the base which is 3.75 3.75 units we want that line to be perfectly in the base and to be equally spaced both sides to accomplish that you use the coincident constraint tool and as you move your cursor on this line you will see this green highlighted green point left click on that at that point and move that point to coincide with the end of the center line this way you have both sides equal space we add one more dimension here from the center to the base for the center as you have seen before on our previous videos you can either select the point exactly or pick circumference to ask this this calculate the center for you as soon as you pick the second point it's going to switch to a linear dimension and gives you the location of 5.5 .5 overall height from the base to the center that is fully constrained at this point use the line tool and select the end of this line on the left side and create this line and finish the line tool add dimension to this line to be 1.5 using the arc tool select the center point arc select a point approximate position here this point make sure is not aligned with any point is not constrained is free to move the second point would be precisely connected to the end of this line this is a known point and the third point we can approximately pick a point on this graphic area and then we know a few more things we know this line this arc has a radius of 3.5 so we go ahead add that 3.5 also we do know that this line in order to, this arc in order to have very smooth connections with the cylinder two surfaces meet they should be very smooth connections there that should be tangent relations select the arc select the circle and they are tangents we cut the extra piece by using the trim tool and we complete that and it's still fully constrained the next step is to not to repeat these rather to use mirror tool 
on the first tab we select select arc and line these two items are going to mirror to other sides in reference to the center line so after the selection select the second tab mirror line select the center apply done Next, trim, and that completes the outside profile. To continue with the inside profile, we will use offset tool. We don't want to repeat the entire thing. Once it's fully constrained, you go to offset tool to select that to duplicate or draw a parallel to this existing one with the same shape. Offset allows us to do that. See, as I selected the offset tool and select left click on this, any point on this curve, and then move your cursor inside. You have a choice to move outside or inside. In this case, we go inside and click a point anywhere inside this profile. As soon as you do that, come back and add known dimension for this, which we do know the radius of this is 3.70. That's radius of this one is 0.75. By doing that, still we have fully constrained because by knowing that, rest of elements would be would be kept in the same relations. As you see, there is no more dimension needed. However, we have to make some changes to this shape. The next step is to draw a circle. The circle, we have a small circle here. Let's draw that. Add the information needed for the circle. One is the diameter. 0.75. Then location of the circle is three and a half units from the center. So we pick this arc, we pick this circumference of the circle, and that defines the center of the circle, and it gives us a location for 3.5 units. What we use this circle for is to draw a line from tangent point here up. And when you're drawing this line, it is critical to not to make him perfectly vertical. As you see, this is not quite touching this arc. So make him a little bit exaggerate and make him in uh, angle line or inclined line. Repeat this on this side as well and again make sure it's not perfectly vertical in this case and I just make this one a little bit more an angle like this okay in other words these two lines are not parallel to each other so how we are going to define those is adding the tangent relations between this arc and this line and as you see it's not quite vertical line tangent those. Now we add uh, some modification here we needed trim and also trim the inside area here and now we need to keep trimming everything else. Okay so these can be erased because they are individual pieces now, you can escape and just use the delete tool, or you can also trim too. But this is just when item is by itself, you need to use the erase tool or delete, highlight and delete. I have four dimensions needed to be taken care of, so we need to find out those what they are. 
Okay, one of the things I'm going to go, because we trimmed, we might lose some of those uh, constrained relations. Let's go to add as we need tangencies again here. Tangency between this arc and this one. That takes care of two of them. There are two more. It could be these, even though I added in the beginning, but it's still there, okay? That, that could be uh, radius of this. As you trimmed, you lost some of those properties initially you had when your offset, as you noticed, was perfectly, uh, perfectly constrained. Now we lost some of those constraints. Let's go add some dimension to this arc. As you notice, it still shows 4.25, but we didn't have that dimension. So by adding that, so we have one more, which is apparently is this one. Because again, we have lost those early relations. So to do this, we don't have to dimension this again because they're identical. We use, again, equal relation. Equal between these two arcs. So that takes care of our sketch is fully constrained. So this is the part that you have that instruction sheets up to this point. You need to add one more steps of one more step in this case, which is not listed on that instruction sheet, is to give it depth or use the extrude. I created both profile at the same time, and we can do that to extrude just the one step. But remember, we have to define our profile here. When we go extrude, it's going to wait for us. It doesn't know which portion, because we have two different profiles, either this portion or this one. Definitely we will use this highlighted ones. And now we add the thickness, which is 0.5 in this example. That completes your 3D model for this project. And next step is to go to annotate, add the information as indicated on your handout sheet.